Hello, this is Dost Assange with CypherCloud Professional Services. I'm glad to uh, be a part of the Friday Forum today and here to introduce a topic which I'll center upon data and as it pertains to CypherCloud and our data protection capabilities. I'd like to start out with the first classification of data that we highlighted here called structured data. And whenever we talk about structured data, it's really to the core of what we do with our applications such as Salesforce, who we partner with. And in, in a context of what we actually protect, structured data can be thought of letters and numbers, and as they're combined to uh, form a word or other numeric values. I've taken the liberty of using the example of a first name and a last name in a Salesforce form. So in this example, the structured data is my name as an example, DOS as the first name and the last name Dosange. And as a person on the enterprise premise actually goes to the Salesforce page, they'll look at those values or enter that value and it gets encrypted at our gateway and then sent to the Salesforce page where this is now in ciphertext. That is what we reference as structured data. In addition to structured data, we also support unstructured data. And when we talk about unstructured data with the CypherCloud context, we talk about files. So they could be any type of files. They could be rich media files, such as, such as graphic files, documents, PDF, Excel spreadsheets, and so on, but, but also video files. So here, as an example, a person could be at their desktop or a workstation, and they upload a video file. In this case, the CypherCloud Gateway will apply the policy that's associated with that video file. And then we will encrypt it and send that file into a cloud. In this example, uh, we have a, a client that uses the Microsoft Azure Cloud with a content management system, a CMS, where the video files are actually encrypted and stored within that application. What you see here in the clear is an image file that they have the option to either keep in the clear, in this case it's a thumbnail, so they can have an identifier for that file, or they can encrypt that. But we've kept it in the clear in this example. Alongside that, we have metadata about that video. So the length, duration, title. Again, this is an optional component of where the customer can either encrypt or decrypt. So let's talk about a case study where you would use structured data and unstructured data, and in the third scenario, the combination of the two. In this example, we have structured data where people want to protect PII information in the cloud. It could be for a financial institution, healthcare, where they just want to protect patient records or uh, whether it be medical records or their uh, financial transactions or financial records. That could be done in a structured environment. We continually get requests to how can we actually protect uh, patient information, whether they're x-ray files or other medical videos or in the financial world, corporate information, whether it's uh, uh, legality involved or other types of uh, transactional information that may be due to quarterly earnings. Some of those are in video form, some of those are in graphical form with charts, and all of that information needs to be protected. We call that unstructured data and that gets protected as it gets encrypted through our gateway and then positioned into one of those different applications, content management systems, data asset management systems, or marketing asset management systems. And with that, thank you again, ladies and gentlemen, for attending our Friday Forum and uh, on this topic of structured data and unstructured data. I'm Dost Assange with CypherCloud Professional Services.